here today we have got a 2012 Peugeot Expert van which has come for a, a few little repairs, two low suspension arms, uh, oil and filter and one thing or another. And I've had a little bit of a shave as well, I felt a little bit of a, a bit scruffy. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, let's get the two front wheels off. Now I've got the front wheels off, uh, first thing you want to be doing is getting yourself a little bit of a wire brush and give all your fixture fittings a little bit of a clean down. And also, give it a little bit of squirt with some Launch Power Loop Plus and everything's going to come undone. Nice and easy, fingers crossed. Now to replace these bottom arms, I'm going to be removing uh, the dry shaft nut and I'll show you why when we get there. Now I've got the vehicle up in the air, we need to remove the pinch bolt out of the low suspension arm. Now they are a little bit crusty, I've had to, they are 16s, but they're going to drop this. I've had to hammer a 15mm um, socket on it because they are a little bit corroded. So we're going to get this punched out now and then we can remove it. As you can see, it's having a CV boot as well. Now once I've removed that pinch bolt, I have then got the uh, ball joint breaker. Because we're not worried about the boots on the ball joints, we're just going to smash them and get them out. And I've also disconnected uh, the anti-roll bar link, and I'll show you a little bit why I've done that in a second. Now, for those of you who don't know, uh, that these bottom arms, they are connected to the anti-roll bar at the back there with the brackets, and that is the shape of the bottom arm. Now, you imagine trying to get that bottom arm in and out with all this hanging in your way. Disconnected the drive shaft, anti-roll bar link, and we pulled it round the ramp with a bit of a ratchet, uh, ratchet strap. Just look how much room we got now. And it takes a couple of minutes to get it, well, to that position. And I've got to do the process on the other side. I have disconnected that anti-roll bar link there. Which allows me to just push that anti-roll bar out of the way. Now once you've removed all your nuts and bolts out of the suspension arm itself, look how easy this is to pull out now. Give it a bit of a wiggle is out nice and simple sometimes I know it looks like a lot of work but it makes the job ten times easier for yourself an extra five minutes a lot more room as you can see I've offered the lower suspension I'm now back up to the vehicle but before we put all the nuts and bolts in we're gonna be using a tiny little bit of copper slip on the threads so if it ever has to come undone again it's gonna come undone fairly simple and just with a little bit of magic that but new bottom arm is now back in place and we give everything a little bit of a, a talkeroony up to spec of technical data now let's move around to the constant velocity joint now to replace these cv boots there's lots of different ways you can do it some people just chuck shafts on because they don't know how long the boot's gone but nonetheless um what we're going to do remove the two clips get a standing knife cut the rubber boots off and then we can get the new one on Right, we're coming to a little bit of a problem. I haven't, well, when I was ordering the bits, I haven't ordered the CV boot. My bad, but there is one on its way. Now, this vehicle is also having an oil and filter, so I thought, while I'm waiting, we'll get the oil filter out and drain the oil. Eventually, my CV boot has now turned up, and we're going to be using a, a stretch one. I'm going to get so many people coming. Oh, they crap, they are. They do the job. They're perfect. Right, let's give this a bit of a twist of rooney. Open it up. Slide it over the shaft. Release the air. Pull the boots off. Simple. Job done. Now once that boot's on, get yourself a li the little sachet that comes with the boot and pack that joint full of grease. And there you have it. As simple as that. That is one CV boot now fitted to the vehicle. Uh, we've given it a little bit of a wiper rooney with some with the old. Good old elbow grease, that stuff is insane. Uh, we put the clips straight opposite each other, I just think it looks a little bit more professional. Right, let's get all this built back up. And there you have it, that is two new lower suspension arms fitted uh, with a new CV boot. Now, let's drop it off the ramp and top the oil up. Well, put a new oil filter in it and we'll top the oil up. Right, now I've already put the oil in, let's put the brand new oil filter in and it's also having an air filter as well. And there we go, that is one van finished. We've talked the wheels up, topped the oil up, air filter, two bottom arms, and a CV boot. Now, believe it or not, 2012, and it's only done 42,000 miles. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Let's get it sent.